Welcome to a Wednesday morning. I go on my phone straight away when I wake up. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos that say don't go on your phone when you wake up. And they're probably right. But in reality, my sleep has been pretty bad the last couple of days. But I always do it. Because that's the reality. My alarm went off 30 minutes ago. <sighs> I really just wanted to film a normal Wednesday and try and film it from start to finish. So that's what I'm doing this week. Boston learned a very, very cool trick yesterday. So let's film an ordinary Wednesday. Peace. The first thing I do before I start my day is make my bed. If I don't make my bed, usually something bad happens. So let's make the bed. Boston dumps on the bed as soon as it's done 99% of the time, which means I need to do a lot of washing. Number one, let's go grab Boston's dog bed. Dog bed secured. Number two, I'm gonna go grab a banana and fill up my water bottles. Water bottles, banana, hat. Water bottles, banana. That's one good looking banana. Can you say that about bananas? I don't know. Number three, I should probably get out of these shorts and put a bib on. Bib and hat are on. All right, time to chuck this camera over there. All right, time to eat my banana and just split down the middle. Load up Zwift and let's jump on the bike. Whoa. Seems a bit rocky. Seems a bit rocky today for some reason. All right, that's better. I've been sleeping pretty bad lately. Um, I don't know why. Waking up like three to four times in the middle of the night and not being able to get back to sleep. That's probably fatigued me a little bit this week. The hot weather always used to give me blood noses. And this was only after Roaccutane, but um, got my nose cauterized like two years ago, maybe. I used to get blood noses every single day, pretty much, in the heat. But nowadays, only when it's like really, really hot, I'll get them. So I've got an hour and 20 minute ride today. It's just like a staple ride into a 50 minute run. Hopefully it's not raining too much. Just looked outside before and it was pelting down. I've also been struggling with an ingrown or sweat pimple or something on my elbow. It was very, very painful Monday for a two hour ride. I think it happened on the long ride on the weekend. Don't know if that's common, getting like sweat and fools on your elbows, but I've never had it before. It's still a little bit of a mark where it was, but gone down a lot. We have some pretty cool videos coming up for the next couple of weeks. So I wanted to try and take a little bit of a chill today. We've got a sweat test coming up with Coda Nutrition, which will be sick because I do not know anything about that stuff. And it'll be cool to document something about nutrition and the importance of like electrolytes and things like that. Next week, we've got a massive one coming up. We're doing a VO2 max and a lactate test. Um, I tried to do one at the start, but couldn't find many people that would do one. I've been in the room when they're being performed, but I've never been an athlete getting the test done. I'm looking forward to the VO2 max and lactate test in. Catch you after. Just wrap up with bike. Hour and 10 minutes. 10 minutes now to cool down. Don't know if you can see him, but Boston is still asleep. So I've made his with club. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I reckon this Wednesday ride, it's gonna be the ride that I open up. And it's just a short one. It's just a short staple ride. And I usually get these rides done anywhere between six to 8 a.m. Australian Eastern daylight time. If I need to move that around to fit it in, I'm happy to do so until clinic starts back then I need to put it back in the morning, but I need to check the time conversions. I know from analytics, most of my viewers aren't actually from Australia. Maybe drop some times in the chat because I don't know a bunch of time zones. Get your friends on, hop on, and we'll enjoy a one hour and 20 minute staple ride on Wednesdays. And if it's just me, it's just me because I'm gonna be doing it no matter what. <laughs> so, but if you're free and you have a brick session on Wednesdays, feel free to jump on. And another thing is if you need me to put captures on the screen, 
just let me know. It might take a little bit longer for me to edit, but I'm happy to put text on screen or captions on screen so people can understand. Because sometimes I can speak very fast. So if that would help out, just let me know, drop a comment. I'm thinking about moving my desk in here um, and just leaving this as like one big training and editing room. This was my brother's old room that I'm now using for a training room, but I think I'm gonna set my desk up in here because I've just been finding lately, I've just been getting no sleep and I find myself editing until like 10 when I'm usually in bed by nine. And then obviously I don't sleep until a fair while after that. Here's a photo from my Strava. I'll catch it downstairs. All right, it's time to get the running kit on. And then I'm gonna show boss this trick that we learned yesterday. I know for a fact I'm gonna get drenched on this run. So I'll bring my phone because it'd be funny. That's why I'm taking a very, very long time to get ready. I don't mind running when it's drizzling, but it's like proper rainy. If I stop complaining about Melbourne's weather, maybe it'll get better. Let's check the weather. This is Melbourne weather in summer. Hazardous road conditions until 5 p.m. Heavy rain in the next hour. Pre-run banana. All right, time to show you what Boston's been working on before I go for a run. You ready? Puckle. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. You ready, middle? Good boy. Puckle. Good boy. How cool is that? Pretty cool though, huh? All right, let's go for a run. Oh man. What am I doing out here? It's cold, raining, wet. Everything that you really hope for when you're going to go for a run. There's 50 seconds into this run and I've already stood in three puddles. I've got soaked. This is absolutely amazing. Loving every single second of this. Oh! Like it's soaked. You can't even see the puddles. I'm trying to avoid pass and I just got soaked again, man. I haven't seen a single person out here. It's just me jumping puddles. Most of the time. But I'll see you back at home. Yeah. Let's squeeze out as much water as we can out of everything. Not much. Nothing came out of the socks. Which is very disappointing because I stood in a lot of puddles. Nothing. Well, that was the biggest disappointment ever. All right, I'm gonna go have a shower because that was pretty disappointing. All right, before I throw this in the bin, I had this Coda gel today. Um, it tasted beautiful. Um, I think I ripped off what flavor it was, but I think it was cola vanilla. Amazing. And that's not sponsored or anything. My coach actually recommended Coda to me because I wasn't having any issues with the winner's gels. Then I had the privilege to speak to Daryl down at Coda Nutrition. He actually explained to me why I can't stomach Morton's and Endura. And apparently a lot of people have that issue too. I don't want to mess this up, but it was about fructose. I'm going to leave Daryl to speak about it when I do the sweat test, which is hopefully in the next video or the video after. But yeah, I had a very long chat with him about my nutrition and gained a lot of information. He's happy enough to jump on and explain a lot of it. So I think that's going to help out everyone. Because if you watched the earlier episode, you would know I couldn't stomach Endura or Morton's at all. Typically my bike and run is done by nine or 10. I'm trying to fill everything so it makes it a little bit harder. I was gonna have some eggs on toast, but there's no eggs. All the eggs in there are expired by like over two months. So, so we're just gonna go back and have some Weepix. Hopefully some of that stop motion was useful. So basically for the rest of the day, I'm gonna go edit for a couple of hours. This afternoon I'll do a bit of rehab, but otherwise I just wanna try and document an ordinary day. I just wanted to show what an ordinary Wednesday looked like for me. The bib also needs to be thrown in the wash.
but yeah this is pretty much a typical wednesday for me um gonna smash out some more hours of editing but yeah like get bossy now when i can been editing for a couple of hours decided to take him out he typically sleeps whenever he's in the bedroom anyway as you can clearly see i thought it'd be pretty cool to go and grab some clips with him just for memory's sake as well so as i said typically on the wednesday afternoons i'd be in clinic but yeah my new job hasn't started yet so hopefully that starts up soon all right i'll catch you in the gym and do some rehab <laughs> wasn't on the entire time when I was speaking through the rehab so there's a million different ways to do the exercises I was doing but they're the ones I work with a couple of physios with at the moment to help me out but yeah I hope you enjoyed an ordinary Wednesday for me since I started this challenge nothing too flash but I like it there was also no coffee in the video I don't have any coffee beans at the moment coffee is an important part of my day as well I gotta make dinner feed the dogs and yeah gonna go over to Spencer's later for a sauna I can't imagine this video being to everyone's liking, but I really wanted to show like some type of normality. But yeah, in saying that, we've got some cool videos coming up. So you guys already know, but I'm gonna be doing a sweat test. Um, that's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be working with Coda Nutrition for that one. And then next week, we're gonna be doing a VO2 max test and some lactate testing with the guys down at Mets Performance. So those two videos are gonna be pretty sick. I still have to swim in the ocean. The water quality down here has been really bad because of all the rain. I will relink my Zwift club team and we're going to aim for wednesday rides some people might think this weather is all on a different day but this is all the exact same day in melbourne what can you do thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next week